So hi everyone. So I thought maybe doing another reading, but first we um, smudge the energies in the cards. I have um, white sage here and I burn that. And then we get like, see the smoke? And I smudge the cards. It's good that they get fresh energy. So we get the right cards for the reading, you know. It's always good to have it smudged. I smudge my other cards over here. I have them laying down here on the side. Ooh, woo. <laughs> so welcome, welcome my BTS army, my purple lights, hello everyone who's here. Thank you very much for following me and for um, subscribing to my channel and liking my videos. Um, I really appreciate that, you know. I choose a picture of our boys from our oop the black one wanted to come out no I want to yeah but we can we can maybe that's a good idea universe not a bad idea <laughs> we can shuffle them you know because here it's, it's I cannot shuffle those big cards but we can use them as a pick we can stand here you know you understand what I mean. I hope you get my English, guys. <laughs> so let's see, universe. Give us one guy. And for the biased army, we do the reading today. Give us one of our boys. One of our boys that um, yeah, the reading is for an army out there who has this guy as her or his bias. Okay, guys? Universe doesn't want to give me one. <laughs> but I need one. <laughs> okay. Jin! It's Jin, guys. Okay? So, we look for Jin in our pile here. Let's see where he is, because I love those big pictures. They are so cool. Okay, let's get the fire away. So, there you go. Can you see that? Can you see that, guys, because it's daylight right now? Yes, it's a little bit different, the lighting situation. But I hope you guys can see it. I hope you guys can see. So, the universe, give me... Cards concerning the situation of a chin biased army out there who is watching me right now. Give me cards for that army. Uh huh. Woo. One card fell out of the deck. Okay, take this as the third one. Okay, we take nine cards. I want to do a Lenormand spread with nine cards. There you go, two more. Come on. And three more. Oof. Wow. Deep emotions, guys. I just, I see that. Just from shuffling and what I saw um, switched the cards, you know, I saw the image. Um, deep emotions from this tarot deck. Um, which decks I also use, I put them in the comment section. So you can see that, which tarot cards those are. Give me a main theme of the whole reading for the Jin biased army. 
Aha. Money, money, money. Feelings and money. We have the king of earth. Okay, guys. Before switching the cards, I just want to say something um, for the king of earth. And then we can switch the cards and see if the reading is, um, yeah, what it is all about. The king of earth could be an earth sign. It's masculine energy. So it, you could be a male watching this or this could be your counterpart. So, you know, if you are a woman. Um, the king of earth is an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn from the zodiac sign. And it is also a person that has, um, it's a king, you know, a king in tarot um, has everything. He, look at his picture, he's like a father figure. So it could mean your father. It could also mean um, your husband, because the king of earth is someone you're going to marry. So this card could mean husband. Maybe you are married, if you are watching this. It could also mean if you are a woman and you are not married or you are not an earth sign, it could also be that um, yeah, you as a woman are an earth sign and you embody the qualities of the king of earth. You stand in your power, you um, own your own money, you are a businesswoman, maybe you have your own company, maybe you are a CEO, maybe you are famous. <laughs> it could also be a guy. This could actually be Jin, you know. <laughs> Jin is not an earth sign, though. But, you know, um, it doesn't have to be an earth sign. It's just that the king of earth embodies the earth, earthly qualities also. That means um, everything he's doing, he's doing it with the pentacles. Meaning um, everything he does is earthly um, or put on earth. That means... He's really making money. It's not like the king of air that's thinking with his mind a lot and making decisions. This is a person who is have getting their, you know, getting their things done. So this could also mean you're very abundant in money or you're very in abundant in other matters, you know. Abundant doesn't have always have to be in money could also mean in um yeah just being abundant having a happy life you know so those are all things the king of earth embodies oh i just see wait a minute you cannot see the last let me see can you yeah now you can see it right okay now you can see all the cards so um that's what the king of earth means so let's put the topic here and the topic is it's the stork. And there we have Hobie and Babse, you know. And I just read on Twitter, you know. Like, I read on Twitter, Babse is the thing, you know. Babse gets things done. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Something is about to change. The stork means change is coming, building a nest. So, getting settled. So, maybe you're about to marry could be um, maybe a change with an earth sign related change so someone comes into your life who is an earth sign you know or who, who is very abundant a king coming into your life and bringing change to you yeah let's see the other cards because I cannot read it just with both cards yeah it's about relationship look it's Tiangi with his ring in Malta. Then we have the cross. Faith. Having faith. Um, you know what I think? The relationship with the cross, that's like a burden. Huh. And it's this card means life in your life. So you have a this could mean um, 
you have a soulmate relationship in your life and it's burdening you because you cannot be together with the king of pentacles or king of earth for me that's um i can't say it as it is you know some people believe in that some don't i'm a twin flame and um i know how that feels but i have a different journey than other twin flames um i feel mine a little bit different i don't feel the burden so much mine is more uplifting my story so but you know if you're familiar with twin flames you know the runner chaser um theory and um one is the chaser one is the runner and um both persons cannot be together in the moment they meet because they they um have to grow individually so you're usually separated from your twin and you each have to grow in life individually but this relationship it f sometimes feels like a burden because you cannot be together but you are committed and the king of earth also is divine masculine for those of you who know that story um i don't know how many bts army know that you know guys i know a lot of like locals who are in a twin flame relationship of course they watch readings like that because they want to know what's going on with their counterpart and usually their counterpart is represented also by the king of earth so maybe some of you bts army knows maybe some of you don't but it's a soulmate relationship and um yeah you feel like you're married to that person but you cannot be together you have to grow individually do your own soul searching and then you might come together but you also might not it depends what is um yeah what is in this life how this works in this life you know but i can see that here in the first row it's something like that um it's some relationship that's lifelong it's a very long relationship in your life and um you have to have faith in that relationship it could also be like the ring and the cross it means <clears throat> you know i'm an intuitive reader and um sometimes i also read the norman not as it as the meaning of the cards are i read it as i see it and i don't see this as burden you know i see jungi and hobi <laughs> and this is just having faith in your relationship for a long time yeah so maybe you are married or you're getting married in church this could also mean that <clears throat> so you're already married um how do you say that it works in germany like that you know you have to go to the um town office to the um to get your license papers um to marry and then you can marry also in church but first you marry with um yeah you know what i mean right i don't know what it's called <laughs> i have no idea but maybe you are already married and you're marrying in church again so it's like two weddings having two weddings you know and that's bringing about the change or that's like you you want to build a nest that's your main focus in your life right now you want to um start family with your spouse and that's him maybe he's an earth sign let's see the sneaky i always have to laugh when i open that card i don't know i i i hear hobie you know when i I uh, turn around that card I hear Robbie. Very loud and clear. Snaky. Where is that cut suddenly? The change comes suddenly. There's a sudden change. <clears throat> I must ask the tarot again what this complication is, because the snake could mean could mean it's a winding path like a sn you know like a snake is um winding her way 
<laughs> I'm missing my English vocabulary today, guys. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Can't speak English today. But you know what I mean. It's a complicated path. But that, a sudden change is coming. Yeah. So if I'm talking about that soulmate relationship, let, let's do two scenarios. One is that soulmate relationship, you're not together with that person, but you feel he's the one. And the other scenario is you are, you're marrying this person, changing your nest and you marry again this year, okay? Or maybe next year. So there are two scenarios. For that soulmate relationship, it's a burden for you. It's a burden, it's very hard, it's a... It's a path, it's very complicated and sometimes you have the feeling you have no idea yeah, how to get to, the, to, to your goal, you know, how to get to your one person, to the king of earth. You, you have no idea, it's, it's a very, a very snaky path. <laughs> but change comes suddenly. Hmm. Sudden in life, there's a change coming suddenly. Okay, so we have to look what the change is. If it's the second scenario, maybe you got, um, there could be two scenarios also. <laughs> maybe you got the um, proposal out of nowhere. Or maybe you're your king of earth, your other half, is cutting out an ex. Cutting out an ex because you want to build a nest and maybe he had contact to an ex of him and that change is coming suddenly, he's cutting that person out. So, hmm, you know, there are always many scenarios because there are so many armies watching here and you know, I just tell you the meanings that I get in, that spirit is telling me. Um, please know that um, I cannot cover every army, you know, there are so many scenarios. Please apply it as it fits, because the universe wants to get that message out and um, they're giving me, like, the input. And, yeah, I think the ones who watch this right now, they know what I'm talking about. If this resonates, then you know what I mean, you know. Please apply it. Okay, we make the last row. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Now I got the whole thing. Okay, last row we have rod. <laughs> I love that kind of cook. I took it because there's a rod here, you know. <laughs> I love that. We have the man again and the woman. Look at this. I don't know when I um, made this these cards when I edited them last year. Um, you know, I had to picture a woman. I didn't know what can I do, you know. Um, how should I picture a woman if I do BTS cards? If I um, make them, you know. <laughs> so then I rem remembered Hobie was playing that woman once. <laughs> so I said, yep, there's my woman. There's the one... That ca that's on this card. So you see a couple here, you know. Okay, let's go to scenario. Let's start with the scenario two. The one where you are in a relationship with that person and your change is coming. So, once again, <laughs> one scenario. You're in a relationship and some ex is interfering all the time and you're tired of it because it's a burden in your life with your king of earth, with your husband or your other half. Maybe you're not married. But there's an ex interfering all the time and suddenly change is coming and your person cuts the ex out or the ex cuts your partner out of their life. So... Because maybe the ex is building a nest, okay, with another person. And you're finally free because you see here the rod is about argument and discussion in the relationship about that ex. There were continuing um, discussions in your relationship about the ex person, and um, but it gets cut out. So at the end, 
you are only you you both are there okay that's one scenario second scenario you're getting married for the second time in your life in church change is coming it was a very long and um difficult path maybe you were um maybe you were separated in between your life maybe you marry your husband again you know what i mean maybe you were married for years and years then you separated you had a divorce and maybe you married that guy again after some years it could also be yeah and maybe you had um an argument with some other person in your life about that that you're going to marry that guy again second scenario no third scenario it's your soulmate and you have kind of a twin flame relationship uh, a soulmate relationship you're not together with that person but you feel that person you know who that person is and um, either it's a burden or it's made from the universe this card could mean both so that relationship in your life it's um, a lifelong relationship made by the universe you know that but you're not together with that person because he's cut out he went away or you have never met it depends you know those relationships are always different and it's a very complicated way but change is coming suddenly for that couple for you both but you have to be um, maybe you have to discipline yourself working on your tasks and that's very complicated for you because you miss that person very much and it's very difficult for you to um, work on yourself you know but change is coming, don't worry. Okay? So those are all the scenarios I got. Let's see um, what the advice from the universe is. Please, universe, give me an advice card for those who watch this are chin biased and this reading applies to them. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Let's see. We had so many scenar scenarios. Let's see. We got one, two, three advice cards. Okay, let's see. How many um, scenarios did I talk about? Wasn't it three? Okay, let's see. First advice, it says, love is space and time measured by the heart. Next advice, don't let someone dim your light simply because it's shining in their eyes. Ha, that's about the X. <laughs> that's the X scenario, okay? So the one where the X is interfering and gets cut out, cut out yeah? Don't let someone dim your light simply because it's shining in their eyes. So that's the advice for the ones. Where should I put this? Can you see it on this side? Yeah. So that's the advice for the ones where they had an ex interfering all the time. And you see, um, they couldn't do anything. They were cut out. You know, don't worry. No one dims um you know what is meant to be will be you know and if there's some person always interfering um you know sometime they realize what they're doing they cannot do it all the like for a long time of course people can do it but at some point in time they realize yeah what's what's worth it can i get that person back or what's the intention behind it and usually if you are a couple and you love and they both are here together you know they are next to each other, so they, they are union. They love each other very much, either in soul on, and in heart. And no one can interfere with that. Okay, that's, I think, the um, soulmate relationship. Love is space and time measured by the heart. You see how he, he is single and waiting for that person to come in. And it's very hard. Yes, look at also these. I always love it when the colors match a little bit. So this is for my soulmates and let's see what else. Being deeply loved by someone gives you strength while loving someone deeply gives you courage. Yeah, this is for the ones that are marrying again because they have a mutual, a mutual bond. See that? Being deeply loved and loving someone deeply. So this is for the someone that looks like he's making a proposal. See that? So this is for the one who are marrying a second time in their life or who married last year 
and are going to marry in church this year. It's mutual, guys, okay? This is a union. This couple is together it, at heart and at soul. Either you are going to marry or you are married and um, this person is cut out. The one interfering. Or, you know, you just want to make the bond for life. Isn't it funny how I usually ask for advice and I get one card. And today I described three scenarios for three different groups. And how many advices did I get? I love those synchronicities. They are strange. But that's how it is, you know. You see that the universe is communicating with us. It's really so cool. I love that. Okay, guys. Um, what else did I do for the others? I mean, I used some other cards. I do it different for every reading, you know, guys. Don't tell me, um, well, you used this card in the other reading and this card in the other reading. Um, I, I just do it how the universe is telling me. I don't do the same every time because that's not me. Okay, so let's see an advice card. Dear universe, give us a song from our cuties. This pile, all three scenarios, should watch. Maybe they throw, maybe the universe throws out three different songs. <laughs> Give me a song. Oh my gosh, I think they did too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we have Boy With Love for the ones who are going to marry. Everything is special. Yeah, so listen to that song and no more dreams what is your dream for the soulmates who are not in relationship right now you dream of your guy and you um you will make that dream come true you know your king of earth right now is making maybe working on his own tasks on his own um spiritual growth but you are union see you are right there side by side you are soul union, so don't worry. Your dream will come true. Okay, guys? So that's all what I have to t for today. Pajin. So maybe next time, tomorrow, we see which guy comes out then. Okay, guys? Bye. Bye. <laughs>